Face reality, people. Movies are dead. Games are dead. Narrative, dead. Media is nothing but neural trigger response and viral conditioning. Wait, what are you two talking about? Yeah. Wow. Uh, <laughs> what the what, what's the underlying message of this film? Uh, there is none. Oh, there's there's a lot of messages. <laughs> well, <laughs> John was like, "How do I make this for an American audience?" I know we'll kill Mexicans for for two straight hours. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit, bro. Oh, man. This was a... I want to say this, and I don't say this lightly, right? You know, you guys know I, I watch movies a lot, and I take it kind of seriously. Like, I, I enjoy movies, and I enjoy the fucking subtext and storytelling and narratives and sceneries and all that shit that movies bring. But I'm not, I'm not being hyperbolic when I say this. This is one of the worst movies I've ever seen in my life. Actually, it's actually one of the worst movies I've ever seen. It's like <laughs> I can't believe they even made this thing. Like actually, like they got like got away with making it. It seems like a robbery or something. Like a crime was committed. Like how the fuck did you <laughs> how did you get away with this fucking thing? Holy shit. We watch a lot of bad movies. Oh it's, come on, it's... Jesse. This is special. Be honest. This is special. Okay, for me, the specialness was because I'd never seen something so blatantly racist. <laughs> like, just the whole time. <laughs> yeah. I mean, you can't characterize things like this, like without without being really intentional, whether whether you mean to or not. There's there's a lot <laughs> going on here. It's like John Woo Googled gangbanger and one of these guys' faces popped up like a picture of like some fucking Mexican dude popped up and he's like, you know what? I got an idea for a movie. Let's I mean, I never it. call things racist, so this is really bad. It's it's over the top, bro. To where the dude with this there's like a dude with a cell phone like recording something for the main bad guy, but who knows that? Like how would the main how would uh Joel Kinneman fucking know that? The main character. How would he know that this guy's recording for him on like Face FaceTime or something? He doesn't know that. So all he knows is that just a, a Latino dude walking down the street with a cell phone. He fucking runs him over, <laughs> takes the phone and pops him in the fucking chest and walks away, bro. It's like what the fuck, bro? It's so bland, bro. It's like oh my god, it this was. After watching May December, where it's like this is like an upper class of of writing and storytelling, to this shit, where it's like this is just bottom of the barrel, like tragic, garbage Batman and Robin worthy type of shit. It's like, oh my god, man! The whole wall of the detective, the whole thing of the most wanted list was just these gangbangers. I'm okay. I'm happy that well, even these are these are too high of scores for me. Like when I googled this movie, and it got a six point two out of ten and a fifty nine percent on Rotten Tomatoes. I'm like, okay, thank God people are like this. This shit is trash, bro. Thank God for that. But like, they didn't make it trash enough. Let's put it that way. It's a god awful movie. It's a god awful movie. Even the things that are stereotypical, like a montage of like the guy training to become like a ruthless killer, right? To become like the actual action hero guy. Even that, they they spent too much time on it. Like they didn't like fill in the blanks with like some sort of existential like, oh my god. All they did was show like him training and like him training at becoming a killer, and just little hints of him having memories of his kid. Like, oh, that's his motivation, his kid. His kid, his kid getting killed, and so that's why he's training so hard. You know, in four months now he's like a fucking assassin and just murders everyone. Like bull fucking it, shit, man. It it wasn't it wasn't like uh, Rocky in his first round. You know, he's down, and then yeah, and then he, he 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 builds. You know, he, he to show the opponent, and then 
and then he defeats him. No, they brought this guy's character down. Like he wasn't like he wasn't on the level of even fighting. He he didn't know <laughs> any. He, he, he he's YouTubing how to do this stuff, well, how to fight. Exactly. We don't know anything about this guy. He's he's some guy. Yeah. We don't know what he did for a living. We don't know what his wife did for a living. We don't know anything about them at all. Well, well he had no skills. So exactly. So it's like I, I guess you could say that this could be you. You could you can you can do this. <laughs> Just fuck. That'd be you don't need any skills to be a scary like, thought. You don't need to be a, a, a ex you know trained for twenty years to learn this. <laughs> You could be the action hero too. See, look, just go on YouTube, learn learn some life skills. This is a regular uh, guy. Yeah, turn your car into a fucking supercar that can fuck people up, and yeah, you're good. You can kill the entire gangs in your neighborhood just by doing this. It's like, what the fuck, man? <laughs> so he just kicked his wife out of his house. For like months, just so you could like <laughs> kill people. This is one of those movies that are so shit that like you should not be copyrighted for it. Like we should be able to like just react to it completely through. It's so shit. You would invalidate their copyright just just for yeah. I, I would do that. Personally. Make an example. If I if I ran the world, I'd be like yo, let people see this mess. Um, maybe maybe you'll learn from it, but. Like face face off is ten times this movie. Ten times better than this fucking movie. Not a joke, but it's actually way better than this fucking thing I just watched. Yeah. This is Definitely. like terrible. This is bad, bad. Like holy shit, man. Wait, but but did you categorize face off as like bad from the start? Like would you put that as bad? Face off is once again, film wise, not a great movie. At all, a lot of cliches and like clanky, clunky, stupid shit in that fucking movie. But it's entertaining enough, and it keeps you like it keeps your attention, I guess, throughout the mm-hmm. movie. But this thing is just—it's not that at all. Like I'm just I'm staring at it, and I guess I can pay attention because the the story the storyline's so fucking stupid. I can just keep my attention on it, I guess, to some degree. But it's like I'm just paying attention for the sake of how many faults are there or something I can make fun of or laugh at instead of yeah. like, I mean, face off the same thing, but, you know, <laughs> but a better version of this. Yeah, his training was really boring if you weren't like laughing at it. <laughs> yeah. I can love a genre. Well, let me just, yeah. So, so did uh, Mr. Yeah. Wu lose a lot of points? Like career points with this one, you didn't have any for me personally. I'm not a fan like that. I know there's people who are into like the karate movies or the action, crazy action movies, and all that shit. But for me, I was never that into John Woo in the first place. So it is what it is. Like, I'm not, I don't have any bias in favor of him or against him. But this thing is like, oh my god, this is just oh, fucking blot of ink. You know, just splattered on your fucking paper. It is what it is. And it deserves the grade for me. Uh, 5.7. 5.7 out of 10. <laughs> God <dang>. It's a 5.7 for me. But, but wait, but you what range do you rank Batman? From 6 to 7. No, what, what do you rank Batman? 7 to 8. The Batman, the newer one. Oh, the last, the last one. I think I gave it what, like a six. I thought you gave it like a three or four. Uh, You've yeah. given some a three or Maybe a four. I did. Yeah. yeah, there were some a couple of things. Uh, maybe I did give it a four. No, I gave it higher than that. I think I said real, I think I said, I think I, I think I said six point three or two or something out of ten for for the Batman. There's no way. It no, might have, it have been a six point three or or two, which is like like God damn this this movie sucks. Oh, you gave it something lower than that. 
Are, are you thinking about like Batman, Batman and Robin? Are you thinking about that movie? Or are you thinking about the Batman, which is the Robert Pattinson? Well, what's Batman? the lowest score movie you can think of you've given? Oh, it's one of the horror ones, right? Like, <laughs> there's, yeah, think... there's been some horror movies. Fuck, I'd have to remember. I should, I mean, I should start writing these down so I have like a scale. Oh, Hellraiser was terrible. That was maybe around this level. But then there was one other one that was like Hellraiser's better than this fucking piece of shit. To be honest with there you. There was one other one that was way worse uh, than Hellraiser. Even though the, I, I find that like at the bottom, the, uh, what was it? They were like in some kind of sewers and clownish guys. Uh, it, was, it was it was horrible. Oh, uh, fuck. I need Teddy here because you remember the name of these thing, these fucking things. <laughs> the thing with the clown but, shit, the clown dude, yeah, like over the top gore. Yeah, over top gore. I didn't grade it that low. No, no, you were wrong. You're wrong about that because I didn't grade that, it. That I saw that. Low. I saw that with you. Yeah. That was pretty fucking bad. I forgot the name of it, but I didn't grade it that low because they actually had, yeah. they actually added like a hero to their story. Like, oh, I like that. And like, there's like a point, like somewhat of a point behind it. So I gave him some credit. Well, it was low for me. But it was like <laughs> over the top, like cringy gore, fucking, yeah. you know, pointlessness, <laughs> guts hanging on the floor type shit. Like, yeah, got it. Rolls the hero. What? Cut up. <laughs> yeah. I'll move. I'll move. <laughs> but he nailed it. That's Anthony's review of this movie. I'll, I'll move. I'll bring him back when I'm done. But uh, yeah. <laughs> That's that's actually that's not a bad review for this movie, actually. If you think about it, so I'm just gonna. Anthony gave it a a three point nine out of done. It's just <laughs> it's, it's, it's it it's it was a I, I, the, the point is that they tried. That's what makes it so bad. Mm -hmm. They tried something to make it like they a really revenge did. thing and. Oh my god, the sentimentality yeah. of the your your kid dying and you want revenge for the people who did it and they're all Mexican gangbangers, I get it. So you have to kill every Mexican within a, within 30 square miles of your house. So, so to me the violence <laughs> doesn't show effort because that could be pretty easy. But what showed me effort was the fact that they stuck to the silence thing to yeah. almost like if you're trying to do something like artsy, yes. and uh, yep. because when you do that, okay, you have the body language, you have everything, you have to surface everything some other way, and and then they would play these musical things like low music to like, you, you know, so they, they, to me, that's that's effort like to piece that together, and and it still came out the way it did. <laughs> I agree, I agree, but it's so it's it's. It's as stupid as like the, the premise and that attempt at at whatever the fuck they were doing are equally really bad and stupid and not good looking at all. Of the guy getting shot in the throat, he loses his voice, and it's like Silent Night, and then you just add crazy <laughs> shit kind of around it. <laughs> oh, see, it? get it, Silent Night. That like that little like nudge at the elbow on your fucking shoulder, like hey, get it, <laughs> get it, Silent Night, get it. That shit is very <laughs> bad looking, in my opinion. It's very tacky looking, which is, I I, I guess maybe John Woo's thing, right? Because Face Off is like something like that, like get it, Face Off. But I thought I thought they were making fun of it. What right. else did he make that was kung fu? <laughs> Oh my god, a bunch of fucking like I said, Chow Young Fat fucking movies or whatever. I don't even know what that means. <laughs> it's, it's an actor. <laughs> it's an act. It's like an action oh. actor type of guy. That's, oh, it's a Chinese name. Okay. Let me see. Uh, you did Mission just Impossible too. Him. Okay. Do do you... paycheck with fucking Ben Affleck? He he just <laughs> what. 
Ouais. Il s'est installé. So. Ouais. C'est choppy. Yeah, Phil K. Duck did that. The original story. Do you hear me? Yes, I hear you. John Woo did Wind Talkers. That's crazy. You did. Whoa, that was a good movie. Sort of. It's. Yeah, that was a pretty good movie. It's not bad. It's not great either. It's it's all right. I mean, for this. For this to be something he's made, that's a great movie. <laughs> it fit the era of what he was doing, of, of like movies like that. Of like right. post Saving Private Ryan war movies. Like, yeah, sure. I mean, it is what it is. Like, fuck. It is what it is. Once again, would I give it 5.9? Six. Five point nine six. Maybe lower. Congratulations. I will never watch this movie ever, ever, ever again. But Lion, you'll be watching it by next yeah, week. I will never ever watch this movie ever again. And that is the most for, forget forget my numbers. That is the most damning thing about a movie. It's like oh, but I, you I, also I won't forget care this movie. This again. You, you I'll, forget I'll forget it. it. I will forget it too. So in a year from now, someone's like, "Remember that movie we watched about?" Uh... I think this is especially bad. <laughs> it is, but it isn't. It's like, it, like I remember Ambulance, the Michael Bay movie, right? Where it's like the, the, some of the stupid, sh- stupidest shit in the world happening in that fucking movie. Yeah, I'll, I'll just remember that shit. But this, I'll be like, oh, that movie would. Joel Kinnaman, he murders a bunch of fucking Mexicans and shit. In the movie ends, you got it. Revenge plot, got it. Slow motion fucking birds, got it. We need more of that, by the way. We need more slow motion birds. Lori Povich, got it. <laughs> what, they they made slow motion the dude hanging on the top of the car. <laughs> yeah. It's a John Wu special. But yeah, I won't watch this movie ever again i will not really remember the movie at all to be honest with you it's it's forgettable as well yeah you, you predicted too many things so it's it means no it won't stick yeah it's got to be either stupid to another level or you know better than anticipated type of shit for me to like remember you otherwise there's another one in the fucking catalog do you guys have grades, by the way? Anyone? Not really, no. It's just, it's bad. Okay, do you, well, you say it's bad. Do you, do you recommend anyone it's watching in the F. It's in the F category. Recommend? So. If, recommend if, uh, yeah, if you don't have a grade, do you recommend it for anyone to watch? Grade it all. Yeah, uh, my worst enemies. <laughs> grade this R. Dubster wants. What's this, that? He wants this movie. Clock, to clockwork Conway orange him. If you want to <laughs> clockwork orange somebody, this exactly. is it. He wants this. He wants this movie sent to Guantanamo Bay immediately <laughs> for torture purposes. <laughs> Got it. All right. Uh, have you guys watched that recently? Or, or not yet? Say it again. Clock, Say it again. Clockwork Orange. Did you guys see that recently? No, we didn't watch it. It was brought up, and I was going to start it, then something... I think we watched something else instead. Oh, you've mm. never seen it? I've seen it, I just... I'm and you missed that. Social Network, right? I have not I, I missed. I miss Social Network, but I, I've seen Clockwork Orange. I just I'm haven't known why. I'm down to watch that again, at a certain yeah. point. 100%. Yeah. But this movie? Hell no. <laughs> <laughs> 